Hi friends, welcome to Tutorial Days. And in this video, you are going to learn RESTful API using PHP and MySQL. This RESTful API can be used in any front-end applications like AngularJS, React, or Vue.js, or any other such uh, uh, front-end applications. So in this video, I will show you step-by-step -step how you can create RESTful API through PHP and MySQL. First, we will start from PHP MyAdmin. So let's go to PHP MyAdmin and open and create database so now i will write here php my admin okay it started now first let's create a database called registration so click on database now registration okay now let's click on create and then click on sql and let's write this code okay so this is the code create table students integer sorry id first name last name email password gender hobbies country so we are going to create these fields in this table the table name is students okay now let's click on go and table will be created so this is our table name okay and click on structure and you can see the id let's keep it as primary key so let's in the beginning then id here integer and auto increment and primary key automatically it will take so click on save so this way we have created our database as well as table okay now let's click on insert and first name uh, umar rahman email red gmail dot com password one two three four five whatever gender male hobbies here like this country india so these are the field we are going to insert so just we have inserted one field from php my admin now let's go to our htdocs folder here inside jam and then create a folder here api okay inside this first we will create a file called database connection so let's open sublime text and then let's start here php and then we will create a class operations and then sorry here we will write the following code the first one is private db host local host and this is our uh, database name registration and username root and password is blank now for connection we have to write the following we will write public function db connection then try and insert this here we will write the, this one dollar con new mysql host and then database okay apart from that we have to write now this one okay so this one one extra so using pdo we have okay so finally now let's save it mm, c drive zem 2 then hd docs inside that uh rest api api okay we'll name it db underscore connect dot php okay so successfully we have created a file called db connect where we have created a class called operations inside that we have made here a connection created a function called db connect and this function we will call in other or pages so so now 
after this page we will create a view page okay so here php start and then php close now save it as view.php now we will write the code here first we will write following line of code this code says that this application this page can be accessed the json data can be accessed from any other third party application if we have put here a star mark that means there is no restriction but in effect you can write here your domain name so that only the specific or particular domain can access this when your application is live but for testing purpose if you are putting here a star mark that means you are allowing for everyone to access this page now now we will write the following code so this code is dollar server request method this will check which request method is coming so here we are allowing here only the gate method okay now http response 405 that means if there is no this method apart from this this can be post there can be put there can be delete <laughs> apart from this if any other uh, method is used in that case the response code it will return 405 that means uh, uh, it will say bad request okay so now the message we will pass here is success zero and bad request detected only get method is allowed and then it will exit that means it will not go ahead if there is any uh, method apart from gate now here we will write the code to display the data and now we will include this file where we have just created this one we have just created so we are calling here this file dbconnect.php and now we are creating an object of this class this class we have created in that dbconnect.php so here this is creating object of this operations class and then through that uh, uh, object we are calling this function the connection function so finally it's a storing con dot dollar con so i don't think that there is any problem in understanding this now we will do a sanitization of the code if user passes the id then we will filter where that means filter integer it will check if it's really integer or some other so apart from that we are passing in this array default so the default will take all students and minimum range one okay now here if this passes then we will write try and then and then and then we will write this code is numeric if this is integer numeric then select star from students where id equal to students id which id this one and then from students so this is we are passing here this is student id this one okay and then it select star from students and now we will write the execution code this statement and then connection prepare and then execute after this if if dollar statement the row count is greater than zero that means if there is a value then here else part so the code will be initially the data will be null there will be no value if is numeric students id then data statement fetch associate else fetch all if id is passed in that case it will fetch based on the id or else it will fetch complete data and ultimately the json code will be success one and data data whatever data it will return it will show here else in the else part we will write here json encode success zero no account power and then finally we will put here catch if there is any error then it will show 500 error or json decode json encode whatever message it will return so 
this way our okay we will review the co code explain the code once again but before that let's open into the browser here so we will write here http localhost and then api inside this we have this view.php okay there is something wrong in line number 70 that means there is some curly braces missing so let's match it if this this one is ending here right this try block is here and then catch block ending here and then so I think this one is extra now let's try okay now the error is undefined student ID but you can see the result is showing here so what we will do simply right here in the top level error reporting e error that means if there is error only then it will show or else no notice it should show okay if we have passed no any uh, id in that case it is showing like this okay because we have put here one condition you can see here if we have passed id in the browser okay let's do one thing let's enter one more data then you will understand it better okay first name Daniel, sorry email password whatever one two three four five gender mail hobbies same and then something here country india okay not something go now if you refresh then you can see complete data is showing here right but if we pass the id here say uh, id equals to two this one this id id equals to two in that case it will fetch only single record that means this id okay so that is the thing it is checking here okay if it is said id then it it is sanitizing it is getting id so this is the code which tells if id is in the browser if there is id in the browser then fetch one single record but if there is no id passed in that case fetch all records okay and then success in any case in data it will return and else there is no record found if there is no any record then if this looks a bit complicated to you then simply you can delete here and simply you can write here copy this and then actually that code was for sanitization purpose but the, if you refresh now and this code might be looking a bit complicated but let me explain it is saying if there is id in the browser that means if we have passed id in that case it will select star from students where id equal to this id else so it is like if else okay else this is like this is ternary operator actually okay so if there is student id detected in browser that means if we have passed this id in that case this part of the code will run this part or else select star from students that means if there is no any id in that case the second part will run this one so basically there are two parts this one is first part and second part is this one if there is id then in that case this will run or else if there is no id in that case this part will run that's it and finally this is period so educating here 
and now one second it is checking if there is id in that case it will uh, fetch uh, based on the id or else it will fetch all and finally this is success okay okay now if you want to check this into postman okay so now let me modify the score let it keep it here okay for better uh, sanitization now let's go to postman and so here in the postman the method is gate right our method is gate and here we will pass this url not this url actually this url okay this view and then here pass this if we don't write anything in the body section just delete and send you can see this the record is displaying here two records is showing here no? first record and second record if we pass here id say id equals to uh, 2 and then press send then you can see the single record it is showing so this way uh, we have successfully tested that our view dot uh, php uh, section is working uh, perfectly so that's it in this video and in the next video we will see how to insert the data through api and not from php MyAdmin, of course because uh, we will not uh, you know ask the uh, the uh, visitors or the users to enter the data from here basically we will be entering the data from front-end applications like angular react or any other applications so for testing purpose we will be using here this postman to check if the data is correctly inserting or not so stay connected and let's see let's meet in the next video for inserting the data thanks for watching bye bye